A dumped Liberal candidate has claimed branch members are angry and confused and will have trouble campaigning for Katie Allen in the Melbourne seat of Chisholm. Ms Allen was endorsed by the party's administration after she lost her seat in a redistribution of electoral boundaries. But Theo Zagrofos has told Sky News local members are being stripped of their chance to have their say. Putting on a brave face after a brutal political decision. Well, what's important is that the Liberal Party members haven't had their say and there's a lot of anger. Up until the 8th of September, Theo Zagrafos was the Liberal Party's endorsed candidate in the Melbourne seat of Chisholm. But a redistribution of electoral boundaries placed part of the abolished seat of Higgins into Chisholm. The Liberals' candidate in Higgins, Katie Allen, was without a seat. So the party's administrative committee decided to reconsider local pre-selections. They endorsed Ms Allen as the Chisholm candidate, 13 votes to nine. You're the chair of the local FEC. Can you work with if Katie Allen in that room? I think if the party members have their say, that will be a really way that we can move forward. They're saying that they find it difficult to be out there campaigning under these circumstances. Since the decision, Mr Zagrafos has met with Liberal Party President Philip Davis to discuss the matter. I'm not going to go into internal party matters. What's important though is that I have discussed with many party members in Chisholm and I've heard their concerns. When asked to respond to Mr Zagrafos's comments to Sky News, a Victorian Liberal Party spokesperson declined to comment by deadline. The local councillor and banker remains determined to help his party and isn't ruling out running again if the Liberals stick with Katie Allen for the upcoming federal election. And me, more than anyone, I want to win Chisholm. I want a Liberal in Chisholm. I want to make Peter Dutton uh, help him become Prime Minister. And we need to do that united. Simon Love, Sky News, Melbourne.